Hello everyone, this is Gaurav from Automation Hacks and welcome to our next video in the series on gRPC testing. In this video, we are going to break down how do you write a unit test for a gRPC client and we'll take an example of the list rectangles method. As you can see, I have already written about this topic on the newsletter. So you can go to newsletter.automationhacks.io and search for this topic. We are going to largely discuss about this using IntelliJ itself. So let me just flip over there and get started. All right, now that we are in IntelliJ, let me just briefly talk about what is the method we are trying to test, right? We have our root guide client mentioned under our main package, under root guide package for root guide client. So let's just understand what is the method we are going to test. So this particular client has multiple methods. We are not going to talk about all of them, but let me just talk about how a simple client is written. When you think of a client, it's code that uh, is written in any given service repository that makes a call to a gRPC server uh, and returns the response. That's about it. But how do you ensure that the client itself will work well in a unit test? That is what we are going to focus on. So here we have our root guide client, as you can see. And uh, a client has the basic sort of essentials at the top where we initialize a logger using the Java standard logging library. We create instances of root guide blocking stub and uh, an async stub in case we want to make sync or async calls. We have a utility for random and then test helper. Uh, we'll see what this is in a moment. Next, for our client, we have our constructor, which takes a channel and then uh, within that channel is able to initialize a blocking stub using the new blocking stub as well as an async stub using the new stub, right? So let's come to our client method. So what you can see is I have the list features uh, sort of client method. It takes uh, four integers. It takes the lower latitude, lower longitude, the higher latitude and higher longitude. So if you recall from the proto, we are trying to represent a rectangle on map where we have the lowest coordinate with the latitude and the longitude and the highest point with latitude and longitude. We log it and then we prepare our uh, sort of rectangle request. So here we use rectangles dot new builder and then we call we set the lower point as you know a given point which is what we are passing as an input and we also set the lo uh, and we also set the longitude similarly we set the higher point with the higher latitude and higher longitude and we build it so once we have the request built next we want to actually make our call so we store uh, all the features that are present in this rectangle in this iterator feature uh, which is just an iterator over which we can uh, you know uh, iterate uh, it's a type of collection so within our try block we make the actual call so we call blocking stubs list features this returns us a feature and then for each of the feature that are there uh, we make sure we iterate in the uh, iterator one by one uh, we get the next feature that is available. We just log what was the feature that was returned. And uh, lastly, like uh, we also call the test helpers on message for a given feature. So what is this test helper? We can just come to it very quickly. What you will see is this is just an interface for helping us unit test. It exposes two methods on message, which takes any proto message as an input and does not return anything. Similarly, uh, on RPC error, it can return, it, it takes an exception as an input, right? Um, so let me come to list features, right? Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, if there is any exception, it will catch it, uh, and then it will just log that the RPC failed. So this is uh, your client method, which might be used for any sort of communication. And in the previous video, we talked about how do you actually test uh, the server method for the get features method, right? So this is kind of similar. But in this video, what we rather want to verify is whether my client itself is working fine. 
So let's understand how can you write a unit test for the client itself, right? So here I have the root guide client test. Uh, let's understand this. Um, so it follows a similar structure to how the server unit test is. You initialize a J unit class. Um, you also initialize gRPC cleanup rule to ensure that you can start the server and tear it down after the test. But there are a couple of additional things. So one thing is you have this mutable handler registry and we initialize it as a service registry uh, as a new instance. Next, you will notice is that we also take our test helper uh, sort of class and then we create a mock out of it. This is a Mockito mock and I'll show you how this is being used uh, later on. You can mostly ignore uh, this random method. It is for something else for other uh, unit tests that we have. And we initialize the client, right? Because that is what we want to test in this uh, unit test. So coming to the setup part, we have the in-process server builder with which we create an instance of a server. And now here is the interesting bit. We have the gRPC cleanups register method in which we use in-process server builder, get uh, in-process uh, server. And then we also set fallback handler registry as whatever service registry we have created, right? Now this service registry is used to register fake implementations of the service. Uh, and I'll show you that uh, as we look at our unit test, we use direct executor and build and start to start our in-process uh, sort of server, right? And we also register it for cleanup so that when the test finishes, it automatically gets teared down. Next, we create our client instance. So we create a new instance of root guide client. Within that, we pass uh, our again channel builder for the same server name using direct executor and build and we register it with gRPC cleanup. Lastly, in the client, we set our test helper which will help us uh, to determine whether the actual call was made or not. So that's about the setup part. Let's look at the test. Uh, we've already looked at get feature for server. So here we are rather going to focus on the list features method, right? Now, uh, say I want to check if we are able to actually make a call via the client. That is what we want to unit test here. So we create two features. Um, they are all new features using the proto uh, sort of builder interface. We set the name as feature one, as feature two, and then we create an atomic reference of rectangle, right? Calling it rectangle delivered. Now here, I don't want to make a call to the live uh, sort of service or server that is running. I rather want to just check the client, right? So I use the root guide impl base, which was generated for us. And then I create a new instance of it as an anonymous class. So you can see this is the fake implementation of the service. It follows the same interface. So I have list features, which takes a rectangle as an input and also takes stream observer for feature with response observer. Now, whatever rectangle I'm getting in the input, I am just straightforward setting it in a rectangle delivered. And next, I want to make sure that the server or the fake service can actually return two messages. So I have the response observers on next lifecycle method. And in that I pass response feature one and response feature two. So essentially both of the features are something I want to stream from the server. When the RPC is completed, I just call on completed. So this gives a fake service that we can actually use our client uh, to test. So you can also see that in the service registry, I add this service uh, for this fake implementation. And now we come to like the main part where we actually uh, just call our client. So we use the client's list feature method and we just pass it uh, this input. Now, what I want to ensure is that um, the rectangle that is returned, right? When I use the rectangle deliver dot get, it is what uh, is should be something that I'm passing in the request as well. 
So now uh, you know that inside the uh, method we were constructing a rectangle object, right? Uh, as I showed you earlier. So I just construct the same object again uh, with uh, these latitude and longitudes that I'm passing as an input. And then I check whether both are equal or not. Next, I use the Mockito's verify methods to actually ensure that, uh, you know, a call is made to the given fake service or not. So for that, I use the verify method and then I just check that, okay, on message was called uh, within this particular fake service with response feature one, response feature two. And for this, I'm using the test helper interface. Second, I also want to make sure that on RPC error was not called. So uh, I make sure that I pass never here, which in Mokito's language is just a wrapper over times of zero, which means that this method was not called, right? So lastly, I just check that, hey, uh, no instance of, uh, you know, throwable class uh, should have been returned. So that's about it. Like that is how you would unit test a client method. All right, so now let's just make sure that we are able to run these tests. So I'm going to go to readme. Um, let's just build the code once to make sure it's working fine. We, the build is done. We will start our server. And what you can see, it ran all the client tests and you can see list features as one method where uh, we log, uh, you know, whatever we pass to the client, it also logs the result with the feature one and feature two that we had explicitly set. Um, if you are curious about all the test results, you can also go to build um, reports, test, test, and then take a look at the Gradle report. So we can just open it in, say the built-in preview and you can see, yes, nine tests were executed and all our tests passed. And that's about it. That's how you would write a unit test for a gRPC client. This was just a flavor of how to use Mokito. There is of course much more number of things that you can get into. And for that, I will uh, suggest you to take a look at Mokito docs. Um, but yeah, given the same pattern, you should be able to write, um, you know, a test for any given client that you might create for your service. And that's all for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you found it helpful, please give it a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.